Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love in the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about Season 1 of Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency tells the story of Todd, who gets mixed up in a complicated mystery that's being investigated by Dirk Gently, the Holistic Detective. Really saying anything about the story in this show would be taking away from the experience of watching it, so I'm gonna keep plot points to a minimum. Dirk Gently was originally created by Douglas Adams in 1987 in the novel Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency, which was then followed by two additional novels. Dirk, as a holistic detective, makes use of the fundamental interconnectedness of things. Basically, a big part of this show is that everything, even things that seem random or insignificant, are connected in some way. This show, at its core, is really an odd couple detective story. Todd and Dirk have to figure out the case and solve the mystery, and most of the show is about their adventures while doing just that. But this isn't your traditional detective story. The investigation almost unfolds by itself while Todd and Dirk are kind of along for the ride. Because everything is connected and the clues basically present themselves and they do that in ways that can only make sense once you know everything. This show pretty much covers the whole spectrum of genres. It's a murder, mystery, sci-fi, supernatural comedy drama. I knew nothing about this show going into it and I suggest that after this review, if you decide to watch it, which you should, don't watch the trailer, don't read anything else about it, just watch this show. I absolutely love this show. One of the things I love the most is that while the show is incredibly weird, it's not one of those shows that's weird just for the sake of being weird. It didn't feel like, ooh, look how wacky I am, because in some crazy way, it still all makes sense. A lot of it comes from the fact that the writing is phenomenal on this show. A lot of the characters throughout this show are understandably very frustrated all the time, and it just produces some of the best lines I've heard lately, especially towards the end of the season, when they have to spend some time explaining everything that happened to other people. It's, it's really just, it's so great. The performances were also great. Elijah Wood as Todd and Samuel Barnett as Dirk, I think, absolutely killed it. The more emotional moments in the show feel very genuine, and the action is exciting, the funny parts are hilarious. The story in this show, beyond just being incredibly fun and kind of insane, is also kind of fascinating. I genuinely wanted to know where all the pieces fit. The whole universe, everything is connected, things only happen because they're supposed to, that whole thing might make you roll your eyes at first, I know it did with me, but the show just makes it work. The characters in this show, I actually don't want to talk about the characters too much, because again, I just want you to get to know them by yourself. I'll just say that almost every single character in this show was awesome. At no point was I like, I wish they spend less time with this character and just go back to dirt. I will say this show is probably not for everyone. It does get supernatural. It does get science fiction-y. It's the type of show where people talk really fast and make clever jokes and say things that only make sense after a few episodes. It's a pretty short watch though, eight episodes, about 45 minutes each. And if you're not hooked by episode two, maybe it's not for you then. It does get exponentially crazier from episode to episode. Bottom line, should you watch it? I have to give this one a resounding yes. Watch this show with your face. This one goes on the Binge Watchers Certified Awesome list. I had so much fun with this show. It's incredibly bingeable. If you pick it up and you like it, I promise you that you'll get through it in a weekend. Excellent writing, fun and engaging characters, an insane story that somehow makes sense. Seriously, what's not to love on this one? What about you? Did you love Dirk Gently as much as I did? Did you like it less than I did? Did you not like it at all? Let me know in the comments down below and let's get the discussion going. Just please use spoiler tags if you're gonna be talking about spoilers. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the binge watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. You can also click around and find some of the other videos we have on the channel. But in any case, keep binging and I will see you next time.